Tony. Hi, how are you, Tony? Nice to meet you. Welcome nice aboard. Nice to meet you too. And yes. uh, I guess I met you before on the screen. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhat. Yes. Somewhat. Uh, very you may special. have seen my likeness somewhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a few minutes. But uh, today, I mean, you're a star, but today, the star is really this car, right? The star is obviously the, the, the vehicle are, that we're in. There. What are we? At? What Beautiful are we in? Maserati Gran Turismo, the Trofeo trim line. Excellent. Yeah. So where's the volume here? Volume is right over here. Oh yeah, I see. Let me turn that. Let's turn out the music. Which, uh, by the way, the system is fantastic. Absolutely. This I didn't know the brand yes. actually. Uh huh. And uh, it's Quite just like impressive, huh? Shift. Here? Absolutely. So your drive modes are actually going to oh, be right okay, out here. I see. Okay. And when you go into drive mode, you can either go into drive regular or just manual. Either way. Or you can f shift as well. There's four drive modes. What it starts out in is the GT. You just turn this knob if you wanted to go to comfort or back past GT into sport. And that's or, obviously okay. going to tune the suspension, the engine, transmission, all for performance, or to Corsa, which does that same thing, but also takes off all the traction control aids. Okay, we won't, we won't do that today here in Miami Beach. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> so here we go. Beautiful right. place, by the way. Beautiful weather, too. Yeah, the sun's Miami out. Miami, November. Perfect timing for a great drive. Yeah. <laughs> So remind us, uh, these cars have new engines, right? Yes, this that, is uh, a 3.0 has just... liter V6 engine. Yep, and it's uh, obviously 550 horsepower. Wow. And We're we'll going... turn right here out of the parking area. So obviously, as, as I just did here, I you can shift manually, but honestly, the I mean, you're a professional driver. I mean, you right? yes. So the manual transmission, I mean the manual controls, mm -hmm. there's no human being that is better, faster Ultimately, or more efficient exactly. than this, right? Exactly. The, the electronics in these vehicles now are so state of the art and so uh, reactionary or proactive yeah. to the driver's uh, input that it can read in the yaw sensor on the attitude of the car. Yeah. Let's go ahead and turn it back to, uh, oh. back to GT mode, there we go. And that's what the standard default mode will be. And does the, the drive modes alter the horsepower or the horsepower is the same, it's just the response or? Exactly. Just changes the attitude and yeah. the responsiveness of the acceleration and the transmission. We have to be very careful because actually when I was driving in, I saw a policeman with the radar back then or maybe some oh, here. Yeah. He's probably aware that of our uh, yeah. existence. <laughs> yeah, of course. Then the, they they hear the sound. They always seem to find us. Yeah. So, can you tell us a little more about this car? Obviously, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle, and uh, it's about a 52 to 48 weight ratio, front to rear. Um, it's got a great, like I said, per, per platform uh, for performance and for luxury. So. As far as compliancy on a regular to and from uh, just round town driving, very good control on the road, yeah. very compliant to bumps, very nice ride, uh, very good feel, feel, feedback in the steering wheel, so you've got a nice linear feel as far as the weight of the steering wheel. And then it's got 550 horsepower, so it's 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 got plenty of power, but it doesn't have an aggressive power that's overreactionary. It's very predictable. Yeah, I think we have lost uh, I don't know respect or sense of how much horsepower we have nowadays. I don't know, like 20, 30 years ago, uh, 100 horsepower car was enough uh -huh, for yeah. daily drivers. I agree. But now, like just around, like there's a BMW XM. I think that's it. And that has like 500. This has 500. I mean, like, there's a, a pickup truck with maybe 400. Yeah. Well, you wonder where's the limit? Exactly. You know how everybody wants to have that, obviously, leadership or title of having the most horsepower or having a lot of horsepower. But I think that the practicality has yeah. to come into place in regards to how the car is driven because. If you're driving it down in an area like this that's all congested, you're not really getting the value of the car. No, and I wasn't saying the, the, the thing about the too many horsepower as a bad thing. I think it's just a great thing that uh, the cars have so much power, but they're also very drivable. I mean, yes. like right now we can, I, we're like in comfort cruising. mode, yeah, yeah cruising, and it's a incredibly comfortable car. I mean, back in 
the day 20 30 years ago a sports car was not yeah no the most comfortable thing but no. now i think that's where the you were going to do any long rides with it. yeah the performance <laughs> meets the, the the comfort right yeah that's what we're, they have done lately here absolutely there's so much technology and the suspension and of course the dampening of the shocks and the, uh, you know the overall package of the platform that um it now has an adaptable ride quality that's applicable for not only bumpy roads, but if you want to change that mode and be more sporty so the dampening is a little stiffer to handle better and to be more uh, performance binding, you can do that as well. So we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to do 195 West here. Okay, let's, let's, let's take advantage of that horsepower. There you go, absolutely. <laughs> See, when you need it, Just it's there a second, for you. but that's probably yeah. enough. <laughs> Okay, it shows so, authority, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm confident. I mean, yes. you you feel really comfortable doing it again, like cruising or just accelerating that for those uh, few seconds. But anyway, so tell us a little about your story. Uh, I well, I come from a, a racing background, and while I was racing, I worked in the manufacturer business, uh, hosting events like this uh, as a product specialist or as a pro driver. Uh, for about the last 25 years wow. so I've seen a lot of different Everything. innovation and a yeah. lot of evolution of the vehicle of, with many different brands and then uh, during that time I was also involved into making movies as a stunt driver Wow, amazing. fortunately I was involved in a, a very iconic film Ford versus Ferrari where I, I got know. to play uh, the uh, stunt double for Christian Bale which played the character of Ken yeah. Miles Wow, so amazing. Was very fortunate. great movie by oh, the way thank you thank I you. really enjoyed it uh, so the moment it came out, I was like, okay, let's go and watch it. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, you learn a lot. I mean, I learned a lot. I think uh, most people don't know the real story. Mm -hmm. Well, I just got through filming the movie Ferrari, which will be out on Christmas oh, Day. Oh, wow. And we so, did that over in Italy. And uh, that's going to be another very interesting story about yeah, I, I, the... I've, I've, I've read uh, very good uh, re reviews about yes, it, early yes. reviews about that. Yeah. Very excited to see that. I have not seen it yet. What do you play there? I played uh, the uh, Enzo had a driver back in the day by the name of Peter Collins. Okay. And I play. Uh, I do the stunt driving, driving for his character, which was played by an actor, Jack O'Connell. So oh I wow! Him driving in the in the movie. That's for amazing for uh, that character. Yes. Oh, what an honor! I mean, to be oh, well, with you, you and uh, this car too. I mean, like to to really. They Amazing say once things. you get bit by the automotive business in any capacity, the car I business, know. whether it be racing or cars in general, you're around it in some capacity. You know? I know. So I love it and uh, I enjoy, you know, obviously the innovation and how the cars have evolved over the years, but certainly. So obviously, the, the, uh, we were just talking to Bill, the CEO of, uh, of uh, Maserati for the Americas, and he was telling us that Maserati and these cars, this one, Darren Cali, and the MC. 20 yep. were built from the ground up to have some sort of electrification at some point um, well, which is which is great because I think a lot of people think that that's a bad thing but if we think about it Formula One has electrified cars right absolutely yes they do and and I think uh, I'm a big believer in the hybrid system and incorporating the naturally aspirated engines with the electric as well and I, I think that that's a um, you know, I've seen it utilized in a very efficient way, yeah. a very uh, performance-minded way as well. And if you can gain that uh, more performance or power uh, by doing that effectively, um, then you know, I, I give credit to the manufacturers yeah. that are that are doing it. And I think uh, people have to experience the cars, right? I mean, uh, there's so much that we can ride and do videos about it and talk about, it, but like. Until people you have to experience yeah them. until you get behind the wheel and yeah. feel the real see the benefits exactly see it the pants feel feel it through the steering wheel and have an understanding of of how linear some of that power is developed and just how it's produced uh you just don't have any i think that it's intimidating by some people yeah. and for certainly uh people that grew up in a conventional sort of um you know full combustion chamber engines uh it's it's a little bit um sort of foreign to us yeah but if you allow it to uh, educate yourself on it and be more open-minded and uh, and adjust to it then you're, you're really gonna enjoy it we 
we're gonna miss the sound, obviously, but uh, there are other benefits, yeah, right? Yeah. Like there, some some compensation. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna jump off here in Biscayne. Oh okay. Yeah. The Miami traffic. Oh, I know. It's starting to ramp up here. Well, Tony, thank you very much for the opportunity. Really, not the ideal situation for this kind of car. I wish we were in a racetrack. I don't know somewhere, <laughs> maybe yeah. Daytona, even Homestead here. That'd be nice. Like yeah. That. But uh, I mean, the cars are fantastic, as we were saying. Um, and, and we changed for Maserati in, in just in a very short time, right? Yeah, I mean, they're obviously trying to, uh, you know, come up with uh, an, a, a product that's appealing in a lot of different ways and meet the demands of the demographic and uh, have a have a, a vehicle that's not only, uh, you know, still applicable to their heritage, which is a, a luxury. 110 years, yep, yeah. And, uh, uh, but also on the performance and the technology side, um, so they're 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 meeting all those demands and and bringing a uh, a vehicle that's that's very uh, compliant to the industry standard of performance and luxury. And this is a beautiful, appealing car that has a timeless uh, look to it. And um, and yeah, it's 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 really a wonderful car to drive as well. Yeah, exactly. And you've driven everything, and uh, I, I can. I mean, I've driven a few, maybe not uh, as many as you, <laughs> but I I can see this is a really good car. Like you see the quality, the materials, and obviously not all the capacity of the performance, but a good showing. Yeah, and the craftsmanship is just amazing as well. Thank you very yeah, much. Be, you bet. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And we're back safe and sound. One piece. Turn it off. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you again. Absolutely. Pleasure meeting you. Safe travels to you as well. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, how are you doing?